Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel, and uh, we're going to examine another um, feature of the Windows Security app as we um, had started to look at uh, some of the features last week, and slowly we'll go through more of the uh, features and explain what they are, uh, particularly if you go to the Windows Security app in Windows 10, Windows 11, once again, and you go in your Virus and Threat Protection option, go into the manage settings of the virus and threat protection you will have and we talked about real-time protection how it works how it is something that just works in the background protects you from anything from any software that is actually running the second option and this is something that i've seen some people that turn it off because they're scared of everything that is cloud driven that is microsoft cloud driven um, and that overhype is absolutely useless and unnecessary. Cloud delivered protection is actually very important. And what it does is in the background, and you don't even know it, when it's turned on, every file that you touch, everything you download, everything that happens on your PC, if there is suspicion of a file might be, because of the way it's designed or where it is or it just needs to be checked a possible malware what happens is a little sample of information is sent to microsoft cloud protection services what that does is it checks with the latest greatest uh, known threats and code and this happens in milliseconds you don't even know that there was an exchange between your computer and the cloud service for security at Microsoft. So it takes milliseconds. The cloud delivered protection will wait sometimes, and if, if there's no answer back immediately, up to 10 seconds before it will actually do something. So in that 10 seconds, if it gets a reply back from the cloud protection service, what it's going to do, it's going to flag the file as being safe, if it says it's safe. But if it didn't, in that 10 seconds, get any information on the file, because of maybe it's a file that needs a little more checking, it will actually flag it as a file that needs to be always monitored. And what happens is that a copy of that file will actually be sent to the Microsoft Cloud Protection Service for further analysis. And then in a few minutes, a few hours, there will be a reply back saying, yeah, that file seems to be safe. It's okay. Or that file is malware, and then it will be blocked. So this is something that happens in the background without anybody really noticing. Uh, you're using your PC every day, and you don't even know that or are aware that that happens. It also is nice because the real-time protection protects you from two things. A signature file that it knows. So that's why you get these multiple signature files every day that download through Windows Update. It's the latest information about the latest you know, known malware and how to detect them. But that file is dependent on known malware that is detected across a lot of computers or a lot of the internet you know services what happens is that that file is outdated the minute that you get it it's as simple as that you know when i tell you security is you that's the reason the main reason is the signature files every antivirus gets whether you're paying for it or not are outdated the moment they're on your pc and you just got the update it's as simple as that. And they are only for the most popular ones. Problem is, there are way more unknown and single malware popping up everywhere than there are known ones. And that's the problem. That's why I always tell you, do not rely on antivirus for protection. And the other way it protects you to real-time protection is by looking at a pattern a pattern of something that might look like malware because there are patterns and some malware will have the pattern 
require that, oh, that looks like malware. Even if it doesn't have it in its signature file, it's going to say, mm, this looks like malware. We're going to flag it. The cloud delivered protection is on the other side. It actually will look at the latest info it gets, even if only one computer reported one malware that has never been seen anywhere else. The cloud delivered protection has that information as fast as possible from, of course, all the telemetry that can be sent out from the millions and millions of PCs. So the cloud delivered protection adds a layer for some of the unknowns or some of the malware that has not been seen much, but that might be something you came across. So it is important to keep on, and anybody that's turning it off is turning it off not only for no reason, uh, but even though m the antivirus is not what protects you the most, it's still better to have the cloud deliver protection on so that it can actually check samples and check out what's happening. And this is happening, like I said, really fast. And it is, of course, paired with the second option here, which is automatic sample submission. And it's very important that the automatic sample submission be on in order for the cloud delivered protection to work well. Because like I told you, first is a quick check, but if it needs to check further because it's not sure, then this needs to be turned on so that it can actually send a sample of that file into the cloud to verify um, if it is malware or not uh, for sure. So this is the way it works uh, in the Windows Security app. And I'm choosing here the Windows Security app because it's on Windows, but most antiviruses that you have, anybody that has third-party free or paid antivirus, they all work in the same way. They have a real-time protection that has a signature file and is also based on a known pattern. And they all have, from the manufacturer of the antivirus, cloud driven protection uh, that is standard pr with pretty much every antiviruses if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching